Okay, here I am with Kyra, and Kyra and I have uh, some stuff to show that uh, we um, had filmed, but unfortunately we had a technical difficulty, and the film got lost, and it was corrupted. So let's look at what Kyra found, and this was from a Jones and Bowden raid site that we found, and, a, and look at this. We don't know what this is. This is some type of heavy-duty spike. Uh, you know, it's the, these guys were stealing railroad stuff, so this could have been something off the railroad, or it could have been a huge officer's tent stake. Uh, we found uh, stuff where like a, a Ford picket site was for Confederates, so God only knows. I could that might be a, p a picket pen, that could be a homemade picket pen too. But um, anyway, <laughs> then found a few things, and uh, we uh, found uh, this uh, old sty. To, that uh, some old farmer was cutting grass with, with. and then uh, Kyra found this half a horseshoe, which is a, uh, a riding horseshoe, not a work horseshoe, you can tell by the style. And then she found some, a uh, couple old rosehead type nails here, check this out. Buckle, harness buckle. You guys have seen a lot of this. Uh, there is the side knife that I found, not too far away from where I found that. Um, it's a civilian, but it's a Confederate spur. It's not a Richmond, Richmond type, it's just a civilian type. Um, found out this thing right here, we were trying to figure it out before, that's a side plate uh, to a Kentucky Pennsylvania rifle. And I straightened it out and it look, you can tell what it is. And of course, there's that um, end cap that went on that um, Pennsylvania Kentucky rifle and you can see the channel for the ramrod there. Um, but the one thing I found here, oh, I forgot to mention this, I found this colonial shoe buckle in that spot too. And, and uh, so it, it actually was uh, probably late 1790s up through the Civil War. But I found this B&O rot lock. Of course, this has been um, cleared up and I, I've clear coated. But these soldiers were about 20 miles away from the B&O Railroad. For some reason, they took this lock with them and uh, they are messing around. And right there along here, you can barely see what it says B&O. But uh, just a cool find and I was happy to find that. Uh, also, we found a World War I great coat button in that field where we were finding this other stuff and we found this other flat button and it has a a floral pattern with an N like Napoleon I don't know what it is um, two rivets with iron a, another flat button uh, you've already seen this one this is that one uh, E4 bassoon on the back <clears throat> and uh, a few uh, D buckles uh, a 58 caliber, a uh, revolver ball. This is part of a uh, lamp uh, lantern uh, where the wick goes in. Look here, it's a bit boss. I can see it. Now, it either has US OBM or something on it. Let's find out. It's probably a US one. US. Bit boss. Isn't that cool? US Bit boss. Well, we know there's some cavalry in here. Alrighty. We got something here. You can see it looks like a button. Could be a coin. See it there? Edge of it. Okay, let's see what we got. It is. I don't know. Looks like a coin. Indian head scent. What well, year we got? It's probably early 1900s. Let me see here. 1864 uh yeah i'll take that 1864 indian head good shape too i see the liberty so it was dropped soon after it was minted good shape okay i dug out of this hole it looks like a part of a pewter spoon or something's got a little design on it right here with a circle hole or something in it I don't know what it is I'd clean that up but it's definitely pewter 
Yeah, or brass. I'll clean it up and find out. Uh, let's see what this does here. Yeah. There's something there. Okay. Okay, just popped out of the ground this old skeleton lock key. It's kind of cool. Brass one. That's spiffy. Okay. And this popped up right here. Here it comes. Button or a penny. Let's see what this is. It's got something on it. Yeah, a penny. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Wasn't too deep. Piece of the pewter spoon handle. This one was deep. I'm not sure what it is. Brass. It's like part of a candlestick or something. Hole going through it. I don't know. I'll have to clean that one up and find out. Different. Kind of foggy out here. Well, I found a Another pewter spoon bowl. It may be a flat button, but I'm not sure. I can see it there. There's a shank. Let's go. Let's see what it is. Well, there's a shank. There it is. It's flat. Let's see if there's anything on it. Nice stand-up shank. Nah, it's just plain. Pretty deep. I got this. Now, it's either a penny, a washer, a button, Looks like a button, possibly. Yeah, it's a button. Looks like a flat one. Yeah, there's a shank on it and everything. Yep, flat button. I see some design on it. That's cool. All right.